Rob Wingert reporting live from the Stevens University Mustang Athletic Gala, joined by Stevens University Director of Athletics, Brett Adams. Brett, thank you for taking the time out of what I know is a very busy schedule and night for you to make an appearance on the show. Well, thank you. I'm really excited. Uh, you know, we've done a lot of these. I've been a part of 23 of them. I believe this will be the best. Um, so what happened is um, the students asked could they be involved and being a member of the Student Athletic Advisory Committee as the national chair of the Student Athletic Advisory Committee, you know how valuable I think the SAC is Absolutely. and how important they have in their role of uh, shaping college athletics. So when they came to me and they said that, can we change it? I said, absolutely, go at it. And uh, so there's a whole group of stack reps and students and coaches and faculty and staff who got involved. And uh, I'm a really, I can't wait. I, I've done 22 of these in the past and I think this one's gonna be really, really fun. Absolutely. Um, one of the things I valued most here during my time at Stevenson was the ability of the student athletes to help shape their experience, what they want it to mean, whether that be in the classroom, on the court, or something like the gala. And what that takes for us to be able to actually shape that is the backing of our athletic department. I've had a number of students talk about the support they feel from the athletic staff, which obviously is spearheaded by you. So what does it mean to have that level of reverence from the student athletes here to know that they have the ability to shape that experience because you have their their back? Well, I have a few philosophies. I was a college athlete once upon a time, and I knew um, who was in the stands. I knew when my mom showed up, and it was really important to me when my family showed up. And and I know I love Coach Gamber, who I played for, and was he was the athletic director, and I knew what games he was at. Uh, President Yasway at York College, uh, everyone knew when he was at those games, and I felt that my actions were going to speak louder than words. And if I really do care about all the sports, cross country, track and field, women's golf, men's golf, even the sports that don't get a lot of attention, they certainly can have my attention. And I felt if we did that, um, the students would pick up on it that we do care. And if um, when you have a caring athletic department, both from faculty, staff, department, um, it's meaningful. It, it, you'll play harder. You'll play for your friends. You'll play for, you know, the values. Um, so that was part of the environment that I wanted to create because it was so meaningful to me. Yes, and you created this environment over the course of 23 years. You've had an incredible vision of what Villa Julie at college at the time could become and what Stevens University has become and will continue to become. So the biggest question that everyone always has for you, I'm sure, and I know I always have because I know you so well, what's yeah. next for Stevens University and Stevenson Athletics? Wow, that's a great question. I'm not sure I want to tip my hand to the staff at College of Misericordia or Misericordia University now. Um, uh, but as a former volleyball player, and alumni are really important to me. I, I love our Hall of Fame as we're sitting in front of it. I love the athletes who came before and paved the way. And I have a commitment to make sure that Stevenson University is better tomorrow than what it is today. If I do a really good job, your degree and your education and your experience in athletics is going to be, I have to make it better. And so it becomes more valuable to you. Um, so I'll tip my hat a little bit. Um, so we were the first women's beach volleyball program in the country in Division Three. My goal is to be the first men's beach volleyball program of all divisions in the NCA. And uh, that's my goal. Uh, Aldous and I are working on that right now. We've talked to Kathy DeBoyer from the AVCA. Um, we're working through it. It's going to be a lot greater challenge because the NCA doesn't recognize men's beach volleyball right now, and women's beach volleyball was an emerging sport for women. Um, but somebody has to be first. And USC was first when the NCAA didn't recognize women's beach volleyball either. And uh, it's too good of a sport. It's too good for the students. It's, and, and if women's beach volleyball is the fastest growing sport in the history of all sports in the NCAA, I believe there is a market for beach players for the men. Absolutely. As someone who's gotten uh, throw their shoes off, get on the beach, and volley around a little bit, uh, there's definitely a different and interesting vibe to it. But if there's one thing I know about Stevens University and about Brett Adams, <laughs> that when you do something, you're going to do it big. So we're looking forward to see where that heads down the road and yeah. what's going to become of it. Yeah. So um, I understand you have another year of eligibility left <laughs> in beach, not in indoor. I know you're an All-American and you're a college coach. So I don't know if you can be a college coach indoor for men and women and 
play on our beach team and as a graduate student. So we'll see. I mean, we'll try that. We'll see if we can work out the kinks there. I appreciate you thanking me. Uh, Brett Adams, we thank you for joining us here on the show, and we hope you enjoy uh, the gal that you've helped create with the help of your student-athletes. Welcome back to the Stevie U Awards. Thank you. <laughs> Rob Wingert, reporting live from the Stevenson University Mustang Athletic Gala.